Media Weather Forecast. My name is Dula Gado here with you once again, and we're going to be talking about the forecast for your weekend here. We're going to be taking a look at some severe weather and the snowstorm, so a lot going on out there. But before we jump into that, let's talk about our city of the day, which is going to be Lexington, Kentucky here, and it's looking kind of hot and steamy out there. The humidity is running high today as we're going to be seeing those severe thunderstorms come through your area this afternoon. But right now, you are high and dry and looking pretty sunny out there with a high temperature of 84 and if anybody know anything about Lexington, Kentucky you'll know they're famous for horse racing and things like that. It is the horse capital of the world out there yes for, for you folks down there in Lexington, Kentucky and also keep an eye out on your weather forecast as you will be dealing with those severe storms today. So let's jump into our national radar and take a look at what's going on out there right now. Okay, here we are looking at the national radar, and we're looking at a lot of blobs going on out here. We got some tropical moisture down here across the uh, the Gulf of Mexico. Go and keep an eye on this because the forecast for the tropics is not for anything to develop over the next few days, but that looks kind of interesting here, this uh, area of thunderstorms right here, down here off the Gulf Coast of Florida there, and we're going to keep an eye on that as well, but that see if that moves on shore or if it decides it's going to develop into something tropical so we do have this guy going on down here we got thunderstorms going on parts of across of missouri and into in illinois illinois as well as well as it, that's going to be and my words are all jumbled up here all right so we have these thunderstorms here through illinois and missouri that's going to be uh, making some wet weather for you guys None of this is severe right now, but we do have these showers and thunderstorms going on right there. And we have some showers and storms just across the Canadian border here near Toronto. So we're going to be uh, dealing with some showers and thunderstorms over that way. we got a lot of clouds here across the northern plains today. And we're going to be dealing with some showers down right here through parts of Kansas and Nebraska as well. You look at this, you see that white? This is snow and some parts of Colorado. So we are having some heavy snow for the Denver area today. And there's a little bit of snow up here across uh, parts of Idaho and northwestern Wyoming. There we're going to be seeing some snow showers as well, of course. High and dry across the west, down into the southwest today. That's going to be our spot with the best weather today. But it is going to be kind of hot down in the southwest. A little bit cooler than it has been, but still hot. Just not as hot as it can be or has been. They're still dealing with that fire down here where you can see the smoke of the calf fire down here in New Mexico right now. So they're going to be dealing with that fire here for uh, some time to come. As I think it's maybe about 40% contained at this moment moment today so that is a look at your national radar we got our uh, big trouble spots here this guy here and our snowstorm there so let's jump into that forecast shall we all right let's jump into our weather today segment and we're going to take a look at the watches and hazards right now going on across America first so here's the big story going on it's all of this activity right here here we have frost watches and freeze warnings in place a winter storm warning here so through parts of Colorado so we did a winter weather advisories all kind of wintry wind and cold related uh, details going on in all of this here we have our red flag down here across parts of New Mexico so New Mexico is dealing with the red flag as well as that big fire the calf fire down there you guys are going to be dealing with here we have our heat advisory in far south Texas and this is for rip currents out here off of the uh, Galveston coast, the southeast Texas coast. This is for dangerous rip currents. And we're going to talk about rip currents in just a second. And here we have our heat advisory, a part of the northeast in New England. As we're going to see temperatures approach 100 degrees in the northeast today as they're getting that warm, moist air that's being lifted up by that, the advancing cold front out here. So that warm air is tr advecting into the northeast air. So a nice little heat wave for you folks across the northeast. So um, let's take a look at 
some weather highlights here. So here is where we're going to be looking at that wintry weather here. We have the Denver area as well as Boulder, Colorado. Denver is under a winter weather advisory. So that means you're going to be seeing about two to five inches of snow. But if you're in the peak here, this is a six inches plus and up to a foot of snow is possible in some of the locations in the peak area. So that's what you are going to be seeing today a part across parts of Colorado. You're going to be seeing that wintry weather. So uh, a lot of weirdness going on out there for this. And it's not to say that you can't snow or see some flurries out there, but this is kind of unusual to get uh, heavy snow like this this close to the month of june here we are entering into the 21st and 22nd of may and we're talking heavy snow here um, i can understand further north but this region is a little bit unusual i'm gonna be honest about that so anyway that is a look at the winter weather situation right now a part across parts of the country out there and we're going to talk about some rip currents and what to do in the event that you get caught into a rip current and we will have a, we do have a, a short video presentation that we are going to do to help you understand a little bit better than i can explain about what to do in a rip current but as you can see on here a rip current is a pool of water that's being drawn away from the shore and this kind of happens when waves crash and when you get a lot of waves crash it kind of recreates a, an eddy which draws back and pulls water back out to sea and if you happen to get caught in that uh, I, I know of people who have been uh, who have drowned or lost their lives due to rip currents and and rip currents can happen on large lakes like on the great lakes as well as on the oceans and seas out there so you might want to pay close attention to weather forecasts and and check on the conditions before you go to the beach every day okay all right so here's our quick video and we're going to talk about what's going on as far as rip currents is concerned I love the beach in the summer. The sun, the sand, and the surf. But just because we're having fun doesn't mean we can forget about safety. Rip currents account for 80% of beach rescues and can be dangerous or deadly if you don't know what to do. Know before you go. Check local beach forecasts before you head to the beach and always swim near lifeguards. Look for any warning signs or flags. If you're unsure about conditions, ask a lifeguard. And know how to swim before you venture in. If you do happen to be caught in a rip current, stay calm. It won't pull you under. It'll just pull you away from shore. If you try to fight the rip current and swim against it, you'll just get worn out. Instead, float. If you're a good swimmer, swim parallel to shore until you've cleared the pool of the rip current. Swim with the waves, allowing them to push you to shore. If you can, wave and yell to get the attention of lifeguards and people on shore to let them know you need help. If you're on shore and see someone in trouble in a rip current, call for help. If a lifeguard is not available, throw in something that floats, but don't try to be a hero and make the rescue yourself. Even trained lifeguards only attempt a rescue using a flotation device. Rip currents can be dangerous, but if you know your options, survey your situation, and stay calm, you can stay safe and continue to have fun in the surf, sand, and sun. All right, thanks for watching that video. Hope that was some uh, valuable information for you guys out there. So here we are, we're gonna move off into our severe weather outlook right now, and we're gonna take a look at what's gonna be going on today. So today, we have another baseball bat. 
of severe weather. It's a very long area of severe weather that's going to extend from way up there in Maine. It's going to go through Vermont and Maine and New Hampshire. We're talking upstate New York, Pennsylvania, Ohio, uh, Indiana, Illinois, Missouri, uh, Arkansas, Texas, Oklahoma, all the way down to nearly the Mexican border down here. We're going to be seeing that severe weather this afternoon because of a pesky cold front that's stuck pretty much right about here in some high pressure offshore. This cold front right here is kind of stuck here, and there's a lot of really cold air behind it for this time of the year because, remind you, we're dealing with snowstorms during this region, so that cold air is going to help provide a battle zone between the the 100 degree weather down here and 30s here and it's kind of not that far apart so it's going to create this zone here for that severe weather to exist in all right so here's what we're going to be seeing for your sunday out there um a little bit a lot less severe weather for your sunday so we're going to be seeing this pocket here of isolated severe some more isolated to scattered severe storms here for your Sunday. So a much better day for your Sunday out there as far as severe weather. But we're going to see thunderstorms pretty much in, over the entire eastern third of the nation here from Texas all the way up into New England there. So we're going to be seeing thunderstorms for your Sunday afternoon there. And here's for Monday, we're going to start to see that severe weather here across Texas and Oklahoma once again. So the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and we got Austin as well as San Antonio that's going to be in gun, under the gun for some isolated severe storms. And we'll see non-severe storms from here, from the northern plains, from the Canadian border, as well as into parts of uh, uh, the Pacific Northwest there. But we'll see non-severe thunderstorms along the front range of the Rockies into the northern plains, as well as through the southeast and into Florida for your Sunday. We're going to be seeing that severe weather tomorrow. And for... And then we do, okay, one, okay, so we have Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Okay, so this was Monday's severe weather. I kind of lose track of the days there. All right, so anyway, this is what we're going to be seeing for your Monday. So just this area here of severe weather. But all of this other stuff is going to be nice, severe thunderstorms. But these can be dangerous also in their own way. So here we are with your fire weather outlook. And we have the Calf and Hammett fire down there in New Mexico that's burning about 330,000 acres right now. So when it comes to fire weather, we do have an elevated fire risk here, a part where across uh, into New Mexico and southeastern Arizona. But we already have a large fire burning down there. But it, this is just telling us that the conditions is going to be exist that's going to continue to make it difficult to fight that fire, and also the probability of new fires developing and our main fire continuing to spread here. So we have the elevated fire weather going on here across New Mexico, and for your print tomorrow. Uh, more of Arizona gets into the area for that elevated fire and more as well as New Mexico continues as well. Our cat fire is burning right about here. So and we're going to continue to see that fire, those fire conditions. But at least not, we're not looking at critical or extreme, but it is an elevated fire danger for parts of the desert southwest down there. As we take a look at your national forecast now, here's what we're going to be seeing today. Again, that elongated area for your severe thunderstorms, isolated tornadoes as possible, large hail, as well as damaging winds in this area. And we're going to see general non-severe thunderstorms all the way down to the eastern seaboard, the Gulf Coast, and up into the northern plains and the Great Lakes. We're going to be seeing those non-severe thunderstorms. And we got some heavy snow back in here through Colorado as we have near blizzard conditions in some areas. But we're going to be seeing that heavy snow through the... Um, of the eastern Rockies here and into the high plains of Colorado. That's going to, some of that snow is going to extend into Kansas and Nebraska here. And we also have some snow in parts of South Dakota and North Dakota, a little bit of snow as well. And there's some more snow across the northern Rockies into Idaho and Wyoming here. So we're going to be seeing a few areas of snow out there for the uh, eastern, for the western half of the nation. And we have 
have this energy going on on the eastern half so it's going to provide the catalyst for this large area and potential for severe thunderstorms this afternoon and evening out there here's what we're going to be seeing for your sunday a little bit less in the way of severe weather as this frontal boundary makes very little progress toward the east because it is fighting off this area of high pressure here and we're going to see thunderstorms all the way into the northeast we'll see a little bit of severe weather here through maine and vermont new hampshire through parts of massachusetts as well and into upstate new york might be seeing a little bit of severe weather for your sunday out there and we'll have some heavy rainfall down here along the gulf coast as we see this frontal boundary uh, kind of start to encroach if you can take a look at here you see how it has arched is back a little bit it doesn't really curve in that's because it's being repelled by this area of high pressure out here so it's not able to move to progress forward towards the shoreline so it's gonna take a few days for this uh, front to make its progression toward the east as it has a lot of resistance but in the meantime we're gonna see a lot of thunderstorms here we're gonna see thunderstorms into the state of Texas and rainfall into the higher plains converting over to snow as we move into the front range and into the Rocky Mountains. So that is a look at your Sunday forecast. Here's a look at Monday. Now our front finally makes it to the eastern shoreline here. So we're going to see those showers and thunderstorms. But we won't see as much in the way of severe weather for your Monday. We will see some heavy rainfall here through Oklahoma and Kansas. And also down into Texas here. Central Texas will see the, the excessive rainfall as well from some thunderstorms, but we're not expecting any severe weather for your Monday out there. We will see a little bit of snow continue across the Rockies for your Monday and also uh, dry conditions down into the southwest for your Monday as well. We're going to start to cool off a little bit here in the east and dry out from all the thunderstorms that you're going to see this weekend for your Monday. So much better weather conditions for the northeast and the desert southwest for your Monday. So that was a look at the national forecast. Now here's a quick update on the tropics as we take a look at things out there. And we're not seeing a whole lot going on in the tropics right now as we do have this area of low pressure here. But it is extra tropical in nature and it's a frontal boundary so it's not anticipated to develop into anything tropical. We do have some thunderstorms down here in Hispaniola and parts of the Gulf of uh, the Straits of Florida here. We do have some thunderstorms out there out at sea but not anticipating any development at this time in the Atlantic side. Here we are looking at the Pacific. We have the intertropical convergence zone here. There's no weather systems out here that's going to develop into anything tropical. So very quiet as usual for this time of the year. And here we are looking at the Western Pacific. We got Hawaii here. We got this storm that's been hanging around for the last few days, but it's not going to affect Hawaii in any way. Not going to bring any rainfall or any tropical development down in this region as well. So that is a look at the weather forecast for the next couple of days here. My name is Julie Goodell. Thanks for watching. Leave your likes and your comments and you can subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next video.